हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू नेजा एजुकेशन दिस इज द पार्ट टू ऑफ अवर फूड एंड इट सोर्सेज इफ यू हैव सीन पार्ट वन देन आई रिकमेंड यू टू वॉच इट फर्स्ट एंड देन कम बैक हियर लेटर सो इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी विल लर्न वी लर्न अबाउट प्लांट सोर्सेज इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ फूड एंड डिफरेंट पार्ट ऑफ द प्लांट इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट एनिमल सोर्सेज दैट वॉट ऑल एनिमल गिव्स अस टू इट एनिमल गिव्स अस मिल्क Animal gives us meat. They gives us eggs, oil, and many other things. So we are going to talk about animal source in this video. Also, we are going to talk about organisms' habits, different kinds of organisms, different kinds of habits, and what they are classified into. And the last thing we are going to learn about is food chain. So please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and press the bell icon. so first thing is milk milk is known as complete food and why it is known as complete food because milk has all the mixtures of all the nutrients now what are nutrients we will learn about nutrients in our next chapter but for now remember that nutrients are very important for our body so milk is known as complete food because it has mixture of all nutrients now what all animals gives us milk uh, animals like cow buffalo goat camel all these animals gives us milk the animal that gives us milk are known as milch animal remember this it is important for exams also सो so, जो एनिमल्स हमें दूध देते हैं उसे हम मिल्च एनिमल्स के नाम से जानते हैं द एनिमल्स दैट गिव्स अस मिल्क द एनिमल्स दैट प्रोड्यूस मिल्क आर नोन एज मिल्च एनिमल्स वी यूज मैनी प्रोडक्ट्स दैट आर मेड फ्रॉम मिल्क इन आवर एवरी डे लाइफ लाइक घी पनीर कर्ड एंड एक्सेट्रा so there are so many products that are made from milk ice creams are also made from milk so milk is very essential part of our food source meat and eggs also are animal sources from where we get milk we get milk from chicken goat poultry birds poultry birds like duck meats are rich in protein and vitamins and just like milk and just like meat eggs are also rich in proteins and vitamins so which animals gives us eggs animals like uh, poultry birds poultry birds like hen ducks goose all these poultry birds gives us eggs what is poultry birds poultry birds means the birds the animal that both gives us meat and eggs are known as poultry birds and these birds are grown at farms so that farms are known as poultry farms so we get meat from chicken goat poultry birds they are rich in protein and vitamins eggs are also rich in protein and vitamins and we get eggs from poultry birds like hen ducks goose Our next animal source is honey. Honey is rich in vitamins and minerals. Do you know but how honey is obtained? We obtain honey from honey bees. Have you ever seen bee hives where so many bees buzzing around? How bees produce honey? So the nectar converts in honey at bee hives. But what is nectar? Nectar is sweet juice. nectar is sweet juice that flower produces but flower does not produce nectar all the year in particular season flower produces nectar that's why honey bees collect nectar from flowers and store it in hives so they can use it it for whole year honey is used to make many medicines because it has high medicinal values rearing bees for obtain honey is known as apiculture
remember this word apiculture it is important for exam question can be like what is apiculture so answer is rearing bees for obtaining honey is known as apiculture But what does word rearing mean? Rearing का मतलब क्या है Rearing means bring up and care until they are fully grown. Rearing का मतलब है उछेर करना जब तक बीज बड़ी हो जाती है और हनी कलेक्ट करने लगती है अपने हनी बी हाइव पे तब तक उसका देखभाल करना ताकि वो हनी को एक्सट्रैक्ट कर सके बी हैव से हनी को ला सके सो so, इसे एपिकल्चर कहते हैं रियरिंग बीज फॉर ऑप्टेनिंग हनी इज नोन एज एपिकल्चर नेक्स्ट एसेंशियल एनिमल सोर्स इज ऑयल वी गेट मोस्ट ऑफ द ऑयल फ्रॉम फिश फिश ऑयल हैज हाई मेडिसिनल वैल्यू वी मेक मेडिसिन फ्रॉम फिश ऑयल फॉर हार्ट डिसीज अस्थमा एंड कोलेस्ट्रॉल so it is very very important animal source for all of us cod liver oil is cod liver oil is used to make many types of medicine dear students in the next part of the chapter we are going to learn about feeding habits of animals feeding habits of organisms different type of animals eat different types of food they cannot produce food for themselves they depend on plants and other animals for their nourishment for their food so on different types of food habits animals are classified into different categories so we are going to learn about this now so let's start first category is herbivorous animals that eat plants and parts of plants are known as herbivorous animals that eat only plants or parts of plant that are known as herbivorous or herbivorous animals what are the examples cow buffalo squirrel butterfly zebra all are the examples of herbivorous these animals have digestive system that they can digest plants directly we humans have to cook plants properly to digest them but why cannot we eat plants directly like animals because plants have substance known as cellulose this cellulose does not digest properly in human beings without cooking plants nicely that's why we cannot eat plants directly now next category is carnivorous what are carnivorous the animals which eat flesh of other animals are known as carnivores the animals which eat other animals flesh of other animals are known as carnivores or carnivorous animals examples are lion tiger eagle snakes spiders all are carnivores we humans also are carnivores because we eat meat like fish and also we also are carnivores what does flesh means we said that the animals which eat flesh of other animals are known as carnivores so what does flesh means flesh means the soft substance which is made of fat and muscle which is in between skin and bones are known as flesh this is flesh okay this is flesh the so animals that eat flesh of other animals are known as carnivores now let's see next category now next category is omnivores what are omnivores so organisms that eat both plants and animals are known as omnivores jo organisms plants and animals dono khate hai unhe omnivores kehte hain the organisms that eat both plants and animals are known as omnivores what are the example crows bears dogs human beings are omnivores yes human beings we eat plants nicely cooked plants and meat also so we are also omnivores now see here word organism 
till now we were using word animal now what does organism means Organ organism means any individual like uh, animals plants single celled life form all are known as organism all living things are known as organisms so these are omnivores now let's see next category now next category is scavengers some carnivores and omnivores eat dead bodies of animals are known as scavengers कुछ कार्निवरस और ओमनीवरस एनिमल्स की सिर्फ डेड बॉडी खाते सिर्फ मरे हुए एनिमल्स की डेड बॉडी खाते हैं उसे कहते हैं स्कावेंजर्स एग्जांपल्स आर हाइनेस क्रोस एंड जैकल्स फिफ्थ कैटेगरी इज सेप्रोफाइट्स द माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स दैट डिराइव द नरिशमेंट फ्रॉम डेड एंड डिकेइंग मैटर आर नोन एज सेप्रोफाइट्स we call them microorganisms because we can't see them with our bare eyes we need microscope to see them so again the microorganisms that derive their nourishment from dead and decaying matter are known as saprophytes these microorganisms converts dead into soil this process is known as decomposing so while decomposing they eat parts from dead so this is how they get nourishment what are the example examples are fungi and bacteria so while the process of decomposing they break down the complex dead and decaying matter into nitrogen phosphorus and carbon carbon nitrogen and phosphorus this return to the environment so saprophytes are microorganisms that get nourishment from dead and decaying matter as known as saprophytes now let's see last and the sixth category of animals so students sixth and the last category of animals or organisms is parasite what are parasites the organism that depends on other organisms are known as parasites the organism from which a parasite obtains its nutrition is called host for example let me explain this in hindi सो पैरासाइट जिस ऑर्गेनिज्म से अपना न्यूट्रिशन लेता है अपना नरिशमेंट करता है उसे हम होस्ट कहते हैं फॉर एग्जांपल मॉस्किटो मॉस्किटो बाइट्स अस एंड सक आवर ब्लड सो वी आर होस्ट फॉर देम वी आर होस्ट फॉर मॉस्किटोस सो दिस इज व्हाट होस्ट मींस सो देयर आर टू टाइप ऑफ पैरासाइट वन इज एक्टो पैरासाइट एंड सेकेंड इज एंडो पैरासाइट एक्टो मीन्स आउटसाइड एंड एंडो मीन्स इन the parasite that attack from outside parasites that live outside of organism that are known as ectoparasite for example mosquito other example is head lice head lice suck our blood from head now endoparasite endoparasite that live inside an organism is known as endoparasite for example step worms hook worms pin worms plasmodium plasmodium are malaria parasites the parasite draws nutrition from host and causes harm to the host okay students now we all know that ultimate source of energy is sun we cannot animals cannot utilize energy radiated by sun but only plants can utilize them and they can make food for themselves but how plants can do that because plant has a pigment known as chlorophyll plants use chlorophyll to make food for themselves and other animals depends on plants and other animals for their nourishment for their food for example grass is eaten by deer and deer is eaten by lion so lion depends on deer deer depends on grass another example grass is eaten by grasshopper grasshopper is eaten by snake 
snake is eaten by eagle and eagle is e eaten by fox. So here you can see that grasshopper depends on grass, snakes depends on grasshopper, eagle depends on snake, fox is depends on eagle. So this is a chain, they all depends on each other. So this is one kind of chain and this chain is known as food chain for because for food they depends on each other so they eat each other so this is a kind of a chain so this is known as food chain the organism that on the first level of food chain is always known as producer like grass grass is eaten by for example grasshopper So grasshoppers are primary consumer. Now grasshopper is eaten by lizard for example. So lizards are secondary consumers and for example lizards are consumed by fox or eagle. So they are tertiary consumer. So whether it is carnivorous or herbivorous, all the organism depends on grass on the first level of food chain, on the producer of food chain. This feeding relationship of organisms are known as food chain. Food chain can be defined as a series of organisms linked together by the process of eating and being eaten as food. Now see what is food web. Food web means many food chains exist in a natural environment. An organism may be part of more than one food chain. This creates interconnection between different food chains. A network of such interconnected food chain is known is called as food web. Is known as food web. मतलब कि एक organism environment में environment में ऐसी बहुत सी food chains available होगी exist होगी. So एक organism एक से ज़्यादा ऐसी food chains में part लेता होगा. तो उसे हम कहते हैं food web because they all are dependent on each other. Many people in India suffering from food problems. There are maybe two reasons. First is there is shortage of food and second they cannot buy food because they are poor because of poverty. In some parts of the world people are overeating, they are suffering from problem obesity and in some part of the world people are suffering from malnutrition. So what we do to prevent this problem? We should grow more food crops by using modern method of farming. We should store food properly so that they, are, they may not be eaten by rats, insects, birds or spoiled by microorganisms. And we should not waste food in any way. So we should prevent food problems like this. So dear students, in this lesson we learned that what are types of food, what are food sources, plants based food sources, animal based food, food sources, what are types of animals, how they are classified into categories, what, how plants make their food, what is food chain and what is food problem and all. So watch this video again and again and learn better. In the next video we will learn our next chapter. So till then keep reading, keep healthy and don't forget to press the like button, share and subscribe our channel and press the bell icon so every time we upload a video you will get a notification.